Okay, guys, we're going to talk about how to do that uh, dolly zoom effect, the vertical effect that uh, you've probably seen in movies. Um, it's basically when uh, this comes back from, I think, the 60s where they started doing movies where the lens would zoom in while they would roll a dolly holding the camera back. So it gives you this effect where the subject kind of stays the same while everything else gets elongated or stretched. And that's if you're zooming in while moving back. But you can also do the, the opposite where you where you zoom out while moving forward with the dolly. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I've got a couple of cl clips here. Uh, this is it really it works really well with a, with uh, drone footage. So I've got two clips here. The first clip is the drone kind of flying forward. So we're going to basically simulate the uh, dolly zoom going backwards so uh, we're going to um, pull the background uh, further away and then the second one we've got the drone uh, basically flying uh, backwards and so we're going to get the effect of the, the background kind of coming closer or forward okay so let's see how to do this real easy to do that in davinci resolve so uh, once you have your clips on the timeline uh, what you're going to want to do is go into an inspector so select the clip go into inspector and all you have to do with is select dynamic zoom. You're also going to want to click here so that you can see exactly how you're setting your dynamic zoom. Okay, so just a couple things about this dynamic zoom. First of all, the green is represents where the zoom starts at the beginning of the clip, and then red represents where the dynamic zoom ends at the end of the clip. There's no keyframing or anything that you can do for this, so it's for the entire clip. If you change the size of the clip, add to it, shorten it up, it still holds true. The beginning is the green, the end of the zoom is the red. I want the position at the end of the clip, how I want to set this. So I'm going to set the green, actually that's a good position, right there at the transition between the river and the steps there. And I'm going to bring this in a little bit. I don't want it to do anything too radical here, so that's good. And we're going to go ahead to the second clip. So the second clip, all you have to do, again, turn on the dynamic zoom. Now since I'm flying out, I'm going to want to swap the two. And in this case, I'm just going to leave it at the default. That's probably good enough. Uh, it's a pretty long clip. It's almost twice as long as the first one. So I think this uh, amount of zoom is just, is just fine. So that's all you've got to do. Um, so I'll play it again, and if you've got any questions, uh, please leave a comment below. Otherwise, stay tuned for the next tutorial. Later.